Anoka, we want to find out from you if you are still insisting on your earlier position or if you have changed your mind that we should come to your house and remove the sacred objects of our forefathers. My Zuzakwe, there is no way you can expect me to change my mind because uh, the decision was not impromptu. I meditated over it. I slept over it. In fact, the matter was given due consideration before I took it. Mm. Yes. And it may interest you to know that you have only one week left to come and remove those fetish things. Or I do away with it. Anoka, did you say you want to do away with the sacred object? Be protected to us by our forefathers. Anoka, try it and see. Anoka, I say you should try it and see. If you have any other thing to say, please go ahead and say it, or else I will excuse myself. You can go. But before then, let me remind you that it was only one sad little bed who, after a heavy meal in his mother's kitchen, challenged his God, his personality, to the combat. Mazezekwe, <laughs> I understand you very well. I know what manner of man you are. But let me put you in the know. It is an absolute ignorance that makes the python think he can swallow. The elephants. Have a nice day. Anoka. 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 It's your California. Praise the Lord. Um. I called this meeting to put you in the know that I've had two separate meetings with uh, the elders and I made them to understand that I am now a born again. They requested that uh, those British objects kept in the house should be allowed to remain there, but I said no. And I've given them the ultimatum to remove those things soonest, else I will do away with them. Incredible. You gave the elders an ultimatum to remove the artifacts. Do you want to bring the wrath of the gods on, on, on this family? Ha! Mama, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking as if you're not a Christian? Where is your faith? faith. What has faith got to do with it? Those things were there before your father was born. On our column, faith. Mama, those things, those objects are exactly the objects were instructed not to worship or bow down to in the Bible. We need to denounce them and live a free life. Agatha, those things were there before your great grandfathers. How come they did not remove it? Because they had no access to the kind of knowledge we have of God. If they did, they would remove them themselves. Anyway, for your information, I will not be part of what you're talking about. And I do not believe you people. I cannot be convinced. I and my children, we are not part of it, period. Nobody can convince me. Share with me. Nobody can convince me. Mama, have you thought about it? You have three grown-up daughters that are yet to be married. What if those things, those objects are in one way or the other obstructing us from getting married? Hey, <laughs> Agatha, you have a peculiar problem. You're the one that doesn't have any suit you're coming to you. Because you know what your problem is. Mobile in Blue Bible now, Kwani. Not my daughters. Husbands are coming. Suitors are coming. We're just taking our time because we're looking for the right classy man for, for them. But Mama, my case is not a peculiar case. The, the thing I believe is, let us denounce those things. We don't need them. Let's live free and watch God do his thing in our lives. Agatha, all I can tell you is that my daughters and I are not part of this thing. In my friend, we are not part of it. Nekwaka, you go see me. 
Nena Kanyo Nena Kanyo Akali Dibwa Ocha Unako I am not surprised you would remain conservative in your reasoning. You've just proved to us the kind of Christian you are. Those who go to church every Sunday without knowing the word of God. There are so many of you out there. Well, uh, I pray that the Almighty Father have mercy on you. Uh, I hope it's not your deadly threat that you just carried out. Huh? I don't understand what you mean by deadly threats. The threat to profane and desecrate. Turn me side in your house by not informing the elders. Point of correction, Mazudaja. It was not a threat, but a statement of fact. Did you hear me? You defy the automatum given to you people. So I helped you as I promised. When you have the need for these fetish things, you come and have them. Or rather, I'm taking it outside, it will be there for you. I am an elder like you. I don't worship what you worship. So you have no need to keep it in my house. Anoka, the fly that refuses to heed to advice ends up in grief with the cops. Yes. Now let me remind you that you cannot threaten a chameleon with colors, for chameleon itself is a matter of colors.
the same Breast and bottom na the same size yo hey. America want that Which you want be photocop Which you want be original Confusion no go kill somebody yo Mame jima Mambo yo yo Shibone jima Umo asa di kwa shampo Na which one be your baby Na which one chop your money Obunka kobunka Obunya kobunya Mame jima Understand, please. Who are you? You a thief! I mean, you stole my money on my phone, and here you are asking me who am I? Can I have my money on my phone what right now? Problem. What's going on here? See, I gave this thief a lift in my car. All right. Why at the filling station I was refueling my car? So I alighted from my seat to pay for what I bought. This thief here collected my phone and my money and disappeared. She took a taxi. The taxi drove her right and dropped her at the front of this restaurant and she walked in here. My phone and my money are inside this box. I want her to open this box. But my phone and my money are here. Open it. For goodness sake, I don't have his phone and his money. Just open it. Open the box. Open it. Yes. I don't have your phone. I said open the box. You don't have it. Open it. But I don't have your phone and your money. I said I don't have his phone and his money. Open the post! I don't have his money and his Fine, open it. Open the post. Okay, let's see. Fast, fast, fast. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Manager, I need peace or I leave. Okay, you are getting the same here, but I don't like it. Because I told you before, there's a new source somewhere. This lady has opened her purse and there's no money and your phone inside that purse. So please, I will advise you right now. Not that you don't advise my customer. Please. All right, all right, all right. All right. I've heard you. It's okay. Somebody, oh, Mame Jima, Mambo, yo, yo, Shibone Jima, Umasa de Pashapo. Now, which one be your baby? Now, which one chop your money? A bunka, a bunka, a bonya, a bonya. Mame Jima, Mambo, yo, yo, Shibone Jima, Umasa de Pashapo. Now, which one be your baby? Now, which one chop your money? Bonne Jima, au moins ça te 
The man is coming with some men and I suspect they are police officers. You have to leave here immediately. Look, so, they are already here. We have to act fast. Hurry! She has left. She left? Oh my god, you really shall. Okay, in that case, let's go. Don't worry. I know what to do. Let's go. Face in the same. Breast and bottom na the same size. America wonder. Which one be photocopy? Is the more. Anuka has finally carried out his threat. He has collected all the sacred images and uh, objects of the gods. Put them into two separate bags and dump them at a distance far from his house. Anoka really did that? Yes! Ezemo, what we saw of the sacred images and objects was a sorry sight. Then he will be punished. Yes. He must be punished. As a more, we would like to start with his first daughter. She masterminded the crime Anoka committed. She was present the day Anoka committed this crime. Omeleme. Omeleme. Nyan Omeleme. Omeleme. His first daughter. Her name is Agatha. She was the one who brainwashed Anoka and lured him into committing that crime. Yes, Ezemo. Akata is the wing with which Anoka uses to make those dangerous lives. Until those wings are clipped, more damages will be done. Yeah. Then she must face judgment. 
Ma'am, she must pay judgment. Yes. Bring to the shrine four cowries, seven candles, and the head of a mad dog. When Nanoka sees his daughter naked on the street, he will be forced to return those sacred images of the gods and the objects back to where he took it from. He must return them. Supposing Anoka sees his daughter walking naked on the street and remains undermanned, what do we do? Obanobokobulu, Obanantichilia, the wrath of the gods will be unleashed upon him. He will be destroyed and thrown into the evil forest like Onochiobidike. Onochiobidike from Ire village who took his late father's medicine back and threw it into the fire. Where is he now? is lying cold on the surface of the evil forest. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's what She is the suspect. And this man here is the complainant. This woman is the mother of the suspect. She was with her when we arrested her, as she was trying to purchase something in the supermarket along a grey road. And the complainant had no difficulty in identifying her. I have one of the photographs. I believe it's hers. So, young lady. Sir. Where is the phone and the money? Just be free. Tell me the truth. Sir, I don't have his money and his phone. <laughs> so what you're saying is that you didn't steal the two items? Yes, sir. Perhaps know. you stole one of them. No, sir. Right? To God who made me, sir. I don't know this man. I've never met him in my entire life, prior to when he came with the policeman to arrest me and my mom. We were making some purchases yes, in the supermarket. Sir. I, I mean, I'm her mother. We were together making purchases at the supermarket. Then your man just ran in and arrested my daughter, just like that. Madam, I didn't ask you to help her answer the question. And if you wouldn't mind, please go outside. I will invite you when you are needed. Please. Officer, you don't understand. I was with her. More before. Please, madam. That's it. Okay, I will wait by the door. So, young lady. Sir. Take a look at this picture and tell me who it is. I don't know, this is not me. If I see my picture, I will know, sir. This could be photographic trick, sir. So, what do you have to say? About? She says she's not the one. Sir, she's just lying. You are, you are lying. Shut up. This girl that stole my phone and my money. She's just lying. Stole which phone? Sir, she's the girl. Sir, I don't know you. You don't know who? I don't know you. Hi. Can lie. Who stole your phone? Go and look for your phone and your money. 
Listen, sir. I can release you, okay? But I just want you to tell me the truth. Or do you want me to take you back to the cell? No, sir. Then tell me the truth. Sir, I don't know this man. I'm innocent of this accusation, sir. She is just lying. Liar, dude. You're just lying. You're the one lying. Well, Sir Patrick. Sir. Take her back to the cell. Okay. Thank you, sir. John, sir. This is the real suspect. We have arrested her. What's going on here? Hey! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Hey! Hey! What, what is happening here? Excuse me. She's the one. Sir, sorry. This is the exact year where she was wearing. Where... You're stupid. Did what? You must provide my phone and my money. Which this is the exact year where she was wearing that day. This man must be crazy. She's the thief. You are the thief. The one. Your father is the thief. Sorry. You're an officer. Why are you? She's the one. Why are your boys arresting my girls now? Eh? You will know very soon. They have not told me not to fear them. Ocha My daughter is a real thief. You are the thief. Don't touch my mother anyhow. It's this kind of hairstyle that puts him in trouble. Malasha. Your daughter follows me. Who you follows stop. me? Why did you stop? Not my daughter. Following girls on the road. It's an <laughs> offense. You don't even know who you are. Quiet! Come, <laughs> come. Thank you, officer. Now, between both of you, who stole the phone and the money? There is no me. I've never seen this man before. Hey! There's no me. You've never seen me before. Mr. Man, hey. you must be mad. You're a typical liar. You are the one that is a liar. It's more than us. It's not my guy. I'm not your I'm not your I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you sure you're looking for anything? Mama, I'm not going to mind now. So, Mr. Mike, you don't have been able to identify this lady without the earrings. I'm, I'm sorry. Is that what you're saying? I am very sure of what I'm talking about. That's the lady that stole my phone and my money. This earring is everywhere. <laughs> Go out in the shop, you will see it. You're the one that is the thief. I'm sorry for the mistake I made in identification, but this is the real thief. Who is it? About... You're the real thief. Officer, please, can I say something, sir? Sir, you see, uh, some time ago, I saw two girls that looked exactly like my twins. I thought they were my daughters. I approached them. It took me a while, after asking several questions, to find out that they were not my daughters. They looked the same. I'm sure it's one of them that must have stolen from him. That is if they even stole from him. We shall see them. This is incredible. So you didn't even know if they were your daughters or not? You I were was, confused? I was shocked, confused. And whatever, English. Hey, Madam. Sure, sir. I think you'll help us find them. So that we can interrogate them alongside your daughters. That is not a problem, sir. I will do exactly that. I, I, even though it's only once that I saw them. But I know what to do. When I set up my goods in the market, I will balance them and look out for them. Once I catch them, I will arrest them. <laughs> I mean, I will call your boys to arrest them. Later. Good. Thanks for your volunteering to support. Thank you, sir. Um, it's all in the line of duty. Okay. <laughs> in the meanwhile, um, officers. Sir, sir. Release them on bail. Okay, sir. Ah, thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Is it? What do you mean by that? Are you authorizing me in my office? No. I'm sorry, but you just say something. I have Mr. Obey, stop pointing at this. It's a terrible offense. Okay. Investigation continues. Release them. So are you leaving? Oh, come on, you're leaving your phone. You should go. You should go. You should go. You should go. You 
So this thing you are doing, you think it is alright? What? Why are you doing this? Look at what happened at the police station. Now you're sharing the money amongst yourself. Is it good? Why if someone does it to you, would you like it? How Why? Is... Let me finish. Why are you painting the image of this family in a bag? Or the motor? Look at how Papa has suffered to make sure we stand upright in this community. But you've decided to make rubbish of all his efforts. Papa struggled. He suffered to make sure we stand upright and stand different from every other person in this uh, uh, community. You went to school. You have good CVs. Share it amongst your friends to, to help you look for jobs everywhere. Get a good paying job and you and you live a better life. Get a good paying job and you live a better life. Is it good? Why don't you mind your business at the first level? What's the problem? How? If you want to preach, please, go to Papa. Or you wait tomorrow in your office to preach to your co-workers. Please leave us alone. Leave uh, my room. Are you talking for advice? No. You've had enough. Leave our room. room. She look up. I said it's time for you to leave our room. Eh? Mama, come on, what is the other? Leave our room. What's your problem now? To be forewarned. I'm a woman. Leave our room, please. God has given you the power to make what? He has not given. You're just letting the devil use you. You're letting the devil use you to truncate the 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 the. Leave our room. I'm leaving. I have waited for so long. If you can't fix this thing, come on, you know, let me find another keke and go. Please. It's too sunny. No problem, ma. If you no go feel wait for me, if you go and look for another keke. Okay, because it's not about waiting for you. You've not been able to do anything. So how much do, should I pay you? Okay. Here is 120. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How do I get another cake? Mommy, <laughs> thanks for yeah. the gifts. You look nice on you. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> You got it for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was scared it was going to beat you when I got it. <laughs> but I love it so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you are the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. That's my mother. Please, can you pack? Oh, okay. What are you doing here? What brings you here? We just passed Nana, I saw you and I knew you must be stranded. No, I'm stranded though. It's the keke that I took. You just came here and broke down. The man thought you left for the market this morning. Oh, I, I went to Amarachi's office first. I, we needed to discuss issues about the women uh, group. You know, how to disperse the money and everything. Marane, hmm? did you come out in that gym? Yes, Mama. That's Honorable Francis. We're going for lunch, so uh -huh. come and join us. Can I? Yes, Mama. You're free to join me. It's but good. have you settled it? I have paid him. Biko, can I come back? Oh, my God. I have it, my mother. Oh. I greet you. Uh, Mommy, welcome. Uh, yeah, uh, come in, please. Hey. Oh, okay. Mommy, uh, take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, uh, Thanks, love. It's okay, baby.
Mm. Oh no, mm. this food tastes good. It's really nice. Oh yeah, Mama. <laughs> it's really nice. It's so good. Honorable, you, you like good things. So. <laughs> See that your jeep out there. Mm. Good jeep. Oh, mm -hmm. jeep. And then you brought us into a good restaurant. Giving us good meal. Delicious. And then to crown it all, you have my daughter <laughs> sitting beside you, Nate. You get it again. It's just into food. It's not the right time. Come on, honey. Your mom is still there. And I have to express her feelings. Oh, whoa. Mm hmm. What about where? Honorable, please tell her. She too, she likes good things. Oh, yeah. She has a way of catching good things for herself. Honorable, can I ask you for a favor? Okay. Next time you people are going out, can you invite me? Say promise. I'll reserve that. Honorable. It was even madder. For who gave you the right to step into my apartment? <laughs> I have the right. I have come to possess you and live with you forever. You lie. You are a liar. You are a foul spirit, and you are going to live here right now. I, I command you to leave this place right now. I am not. I am here to complete my mission. I command you in the name of Jesus to leave this room. Leave, leave, leave this room in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave here in the name of Jesus. Leave this room. Leave this room in the name of The avenging daughter of Ebuno Babe. I hope you have not failed in your mission. She ordered me out in the name of he whom I must obey. And I had to leave. In the name of he whom you must obey. Who is he? You are supposed to know whom he is. Please don't ask me open all okay no did she ask you not to come back no she did not then you must return immediately you must stand firm and complete the mission This mission must be accomplished. You are here again. You are here again. 
let me remind you that I am a child of God. I have been bought by a price, redeemed of the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago. So therefore you have no place here. I am a child of God and he that dwells in me is greater than you that is in the world. I command you to leave this place right now or be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command you to leave here right now in the name of Jesus. Leave here in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume you. Consume you. Burn you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You think you can come and weep where you did not sow? Hey! Devil, you want to try yourself. It will not happen. But as long as Christ sits upon the throne, you will not win. Christ will always win. In the name of Jesus. You must return to her. She must be conquered. No! I will not go back again. She attacked me again with the same before and ordered me to leave. It is very important you return to complete this mission. But this time, you will go with no sound or noise to accompany you. You will enter the room unnoticed. Don't allow her to speak. You will triumph. Screaming, yelling, shouting, singing. Oh, no, 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 no. I have never experienced such a thing in this compound. Honestly, Mama, I didn't hear or know anything. Oh. But uh, what could be the problem? Oh, come on. The way if she went on and on, she was using this commanding voice. She was telling whatever the person to get out of her room. In short, eh? I don't think she was talking to a mere mother. Mama, are you sure a ghost had not entered her room? It must be the idol that she and her father uh, uh, carried out of the compound. Yes, Mama. That must have been what came back to fight her. But she could not have carried such an act against the gods of our ancestors. Oh my God, 
It has to facing such a severe consequences, Mama. Listen, she brought it upon herself. I won't pity her. Let her carry it upon herself alone. Oh, no, no, no. They born again. What? No, Mama. Have you seen her this morning? <laughs> hey! I'm telling you, she left very early this morning. If anyone had told me that that girl would leave her room this morning, I wouldn't have believed. <laughs> but she came out looking strong. The way she just walked out, I'm really baffled. Yeah. Mara, mama, 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 I hope you had a good night. Fantastic. We went clubbing all night and I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was enjoyment that kept, if not, you'd have come back then. Of course it was enjoyment. Real enjoyment. I've never had such in a long time. Ah. Mama, do you know the Honorable is a nice man? Ah. Let me show you something. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> this is hundred thousand naira. <laughs> Mama, not only that, he promised to buy me a car. Buy you a car? Yes. He'll be coming down from Abuja every two weeks. And before the year runs down, he will take me to one of these car dealing companies and I will make a choice of my own. Mm -hmm. It's not just about making any choice. This is an opportunity to cash into whatever God has planned for you. See, let me let me narrate this to you. It's like someone climbing um, an Iroko tree. When you get to the top of the Iroko tree, collect all the firewood you need before coming down. Because the Iroko tree is not a common tree. You got that me? Mama Watam, I understand. Then wait. What Mama is saying is that you should make sure he buys you a good car. Or not just a good car. A fantastic, fantabulous car. Yes. A car with factory fitted AC. Mama Tiaroba, you got that? Do you understand? Because as I'm sitting here, I can just picture myself. Mama! In front of the car. Mama! With my two daughters, one by my right, one at the owner's seat at the back. It's me and gear. And I start driving. Ooh. Mama! This is how I'm seeing myself now. Mama, don't you think that making such a choice might scare him away? You don't even know the kind of man you're dealing with. The honorable. The kind of money they pay them is the kind of dollars you find in some rooms in Ikoyi. Some of them buried inside coffins in the burial ground where even the dead people will look and want to come back to life. Some of them at the backyard beside the toilet sucking away. That's the kind of money that he makes. So Mama, you mean you'll be willing to make a huge sacrifice on me? Of course! Because when you look good, people will know what stuff is made of. You got to go? As you move and they see you moving, people will say that's the honorable's girlfriend. <laughs> okay, Mama, I will try my best. Oh, Nem, I don't want you trying your best. I want the best of your best. Eh? So that that way, and your color change. You got that? Okay. It shall come to pass, oh. Hey, it must come to pass because there is no stopping us now. Your child will be able to say, Ain't no stopping us now. We are on the moon. <laughs> Hundred thousand naira. Abada Alandia. And he knows who did it. Come back. <laughs> This girl, my sister. Okay. 
Today again, she sneaked out very early in the morning, running down the Ezu River, probably to go and drown herself. Before some people saw her and brought her home, it's not it's possible. possible. It's not possible. All she's doing is not intentional. I want the real. Mama, Biko, Biko, Please clean this girl up and, and give her something decent and clean to wear. And clean her up, no. If I put on any new dress on her, she will end up tearing it. She has done so many. I'm, I'm tired of wasting clothes. I think the best thing to do is to take her to a psychiatric hospital. Let her get some medical attention. We are making arrangements for that. But my husband said he would take her to one place for her minor treatment before we go to the hospital. <laughs> Hey! Oh, okay. from Madonna for here. <laughs> Please, what do I offer? Don't even talk about that. Eh? Not even cold water. I don't sort. want anything, Biko. I don't need anything. <laughs> I feel so disheartened. I mean, who could have done this to this harmless girl? Mm -hmm. My sister, I am tired. Mm -hmm. I have I've only resorted to God in prayers. He is my only hope and my help, and I know He will help me. Please, how are your daughters? My daughters are fine. Your husband. My husband is fine too. What about Nani uh, 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 Seems like he's not home. I have no interest. He's not at home. He went out. He went to see one of his friends concerning Nana's illness. I heard your husband has finally removed that contentious object in the house. He has, oh. And honestly, eh, my daughters and I, well, apart from Agatha, we have nothing to do with it, though. Well, of course, apart from Agatha. She assisted him. Are you saying you're not in support of what he did? Of course not. That thing has been there even before his great grandfather was born. Why should he remove it? I'm waiting for Amelia. Hey, but why would you talk like this? Huh? Eh? Mm. The answer is clear. His father was not born again, and he is born again. Okay. Seriously, I am sincerely praying for my husband to give his life to Christ the way your husband did. I will be the happiest woman on earth that very day. And for Agatha, I envy her commitment and love for God. And I know God will never allow such a person to be put to shame. Oh. You see, Agatha, yeah. I am not against her commitment to God. Yeah. But the point is that she doesn't know where to draw the line. She should know that there's time for everything. Time to pray and time to do other things. Uh-uh. Or say I'm a joker. Uh-uh. Okay, my sister, I have not seen anything wrong in what Agatha did. Enough for me. 
Whatever she has done, I believe is not in her own authority. Maybe it was, the authority came from heaven. I know you. So glad you have heard you. If Nina, my daughter, had worshipped God the way Agatha, your daughter, did, she wouldn't have been in this condition today. That reminds me. How is Agatha? I've not seen her for a while. Uh, she, she's on leave, so uh, she traveled. She traveled to Abuja for some church uh, gathering or whatever. Instead of that, she's there too, my family. In house church. I'm going to see her too. Please, anytime she comes back, just let me know. I would like to see her. No problem. You go. You're so glad. I see really Malungu. Mbugu Malonya Kerie. Um, as a way, bring her here. Announce it. Ta! Look what I thought was a blues. Ah! Mosamona, Dakan and Anka. Nobody and open Akam allows what you were bunkering. Go. Mm-mm. Ta! What is all your making it? <laughs> oh, you! Ah! Oh, I'm not going to I can see a one you to get I don't want to get I to I I you are happy not to return, so I entered here, and I'm very comfortable. I won't leave. As a man, what is she saying? As a boy, don't bother yourself. I can understand her. This is not the right place for you to occupy. Leave and return to the forest. Have no assignment there. Leave. I want to. Then I will force you. I will force you to leave. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> then wait for me. Wait for me. As a way, remain with her. I shall return. I heard someone scream at the back of the train when you have not returned. As it were, that was me. I had a scorpion sting. Yes. A stubborn spirit is trying to frustrate all our efforts, as it were. Stubborn spirit. Yes. Um, as it were, you have to take her home. Eh? Come back in two days' time. Let me have time to commune with the gods. To know what next to do. You know go? Eh? Take her home. Hey! Hey! Damn mom! Hey! Damn mom! Hey! Oh yeah, my room. 
to go with you sir uh -huh. i will appreciate it <laughs> that is good see when we get to abuja i will take you around the city and i'll take you to places of interest me oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait to go with you sir <laughs> come on why this sir, 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 sort of thing can't you just look for a pet name to give to me i'm sorry sir oh, sorry <laughs> i'm sorry honey I'm sorry, love. Make it more romantic. Okay, okay sweetie. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. Like I was saying, mm -hmm. she don't have any problem at all. Just get yourself ready. I'm prepared as I'm talking with you now. Just say the word and I'll obey it. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> if it's not now, it's not today. Mm -hmm. I said two weeks. Okay. Okay? Thanks, baby. No, 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 no. Make it more romantic, baby. Before we we'll get to the room. <laughs> Okay, fine. Um, okay, let's go about it. Okay, yeah. Is she taking her medicine? Yes, ma'am. Jane, I hope you took the full dose. Because, Imanon, you don't like taking the dosage. <laughs> I'm not when I'm done with my lady. I took the complete dose. So, how are you feeling now? I'm better, ma'am. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
But my only worry is that the only thing we can look out for my project today. I will bring it to do with him. And I'm not disposed to say for If I don't show up here, my own schedule might be able to make another meeting. Oh, Yimba. We can't allow this opportunity to slip through our fingers. What should we do now? Mama, how do you mean? Do you expect her to go and see him in this condition? Mba, no, no. Oh, I'm thinking we should apply Robinson's style. Yes, now. You remember then? Yes, you remember. <laughs> that good for nothing, man. <laughs> when you went to Gabon and he came, he wanted to see you, but you were not around. No, no, no. Jane went and represented you. And the stupid man could not even tell the difference. Mama, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm all of the intelligence. Yes, Mama. Eh? You're the best mama in the world. I know. I think he's alright. I'm okay with that. That reminds me. Someone said that Mr. Robertson is sick and I've been an admission in the hospital. What's my own now? He's been long. It's history, Mama. It's yeah. okay. not my business. Hmm? Mm, sorry, dear. Oh, it's not your phone. It's not phone. That's the only one. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm fine, sir. And you? Yes, sir. I'm in the house. I've been expecting your call. Hello? You're welcome, sir. I will be with you in a short while. Okay, sir. I will see you soon. Bye. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm watching. has already arrived and has checked in at the presidential hotel. Where you usually stay. Which of the presidential hotels? The one in Mandela Road? Yes. His room is very good. Please, let's try to just okay. I will explain everything to you later. What is sa sa sa? Why you only not say spirit spirit when you can teach I love you? Because of one day I will you. I'm coming. See, I'm coming. So you tell me. They're coming. The door is open. <laughs> Look at my baby. Oh, come on, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Wow. Come here. Come here. <laughs> she is so beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. Yeah. How was your journey? Oh, very well. I left Abuja a few minutes to twelve noon, and I called immediately. I landed at the airport. Okay. That's by the way. Hi, so mom. She's doing great. Mm hmm She extends her greeting. Oh, right. That's good. Um, did you order anything for me? Yeah, I ordered for your favorite. <laughs> Thank you. They are preparing it, and for your brand of drink, they are in the fridge. Thank you. That's my darling. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have to go and show you. I'm coming. Okay. Um, but uh, can you do me a favor? Just say it. Can you come with me so you can scrub my bag? Oh, sure. I will do it for you. If I anything for you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That's my baby. Do you still feel the same way as yesterday? No, I'm better now. In fact, those drugs were more effective. I slept like a baby. Okay. <laughs> so forget about me. Just, just me. How did it go? So you mean he did not show any sign of suspicion throughout your stay with him last night? Yes, he did not. Do. In fact, he felt relaxed. And believe you are the one with him. <laughs> like he instructed me, I told him let's go school going to Abuja. The next two weeks. I have an important wedding to attend tomorrow, and he is. Hmm, that's good. <laughs> I knew you would not find out. 
That reminds me, I think I should edit it and I'm like <laughs> He said when he comes back in two weeks time, he will take you to a car dinner to buy a car before going to Upper Jack. So get ready for a car dinner. Please, Lizzie, on no account should I get more about this. I don't want her to spoil this engagement with her bad players. Who will tell her? Me or you? Because <laughs> I know Mama will not tell her. That reminds me, what is my problem? She just didn't want to see that her friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm coming, I'll do it soon. Face in the same, breast and bottom na the same size, yo, hey. America want that. Which you want be photocopy? Which you want be original? Confusion, you go kill somebody, yo. Ma me jima, ma mo yo yo. She want to see you the big fat. Ma me ifa. Yo, I can't go. Oh, 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 all for my son. The last one I attended before the interview was a dinner with Mr. President. At the last one, at the presentation of yeah. It was a straight balance, an event I will forever remember. There were so many dignities in attendance. We had the senators, the House of Representatives members, the Catholic Governors, and so many of them. I greeted so many of them. I also collected numbers. So my contact is necessary. After this Abuja thing, I'm not saying level, levels, levels don't change. I don't. Hey, Mama, that reminds me. Uh, let's not miss this opportunity. Emma Ufuka, we can as well add another car, making it two. You want to go? Car, I want to go. Mama. You know that man is rich. He loves you mm -hmm. and he's very, very generous. Yes, yes. It's not just about two cars. What if we make it three cars? <laughs> Mama, <laughs> 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 Mama, you know, I can do about it. Because you must do some time. Some page, you know. Mama, Somebody, oh, my baby, Jima, my boy, yo, yo, she born a Jima, oh, my sad, you push up, oh, now which one be your baby, now which one chop your money, a bunka, a bunka, a bonya, a bonya, my baby, Jima. Oh, my God, Linda! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Oh, my God, when did you come back from Lagos? I came back last week, Sunday. You're not looking bad. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. You know, at first I thought it was your sister. But when I took a closer look, you are the one. <laughs> Jen, you always put on a captivating look. What is the secret? The secret is divine providence. 
just the handwork of God. Marvelous. <laughs> and how is your sister? She's fine, even better than I am. Like seriously, <laughs> yes. So, Daka, what did you buy it? Five months old now, and I'm even thinking of adding another one to it. Jay! Like seriously? Yes, very seriously. I'm just trying to compensate myself. Maybe have another complimentary one. Maybe car. So I can go out with it anytime I want. Can I have your phone number? <laughs> Easy. I'll give you my complimentary card. Just relax. Jay, I will call you. I will call you. We need to sit down and talk, please. Okay? No problem. I'll take care of you. Just take care. Have a lovely day. <laughs> she hardly sleeps. Sometimes she would not sleep and would not eat for a stretch of two to three days. Hmm. I have seen many cases like that. The hands of the gods are in it and they must be appeased. I will come and see her and then inquire from the gods what should be done to set her free. I will so appreciate because her condition is giving me sleepless night. What is it again? You have collected your food. What is it again? Oh, you want me to remove your leg chains so that you can run away as usual? No, it won't work for you today. Oya, oh yeah? go back unless you want me to whip you. Please go back. Does she always run away? Yes. Each time you leave her at the comfort of removing her leg chains, she will run away, quite unlike others. Hi. Mental illness is a serious problem. It is the worst kind of sickness. It really is. There's no doubt about that. And regarding your daughter, don't bother yourself. I will come and see her on the next Nkwa Market Day. Uh, uh. Hey, I would so appreciate because uh, I shall be on my way. Eh? Uh, I'm expecting you. <coughs> and now I swear I can. Hear you, so what do you say is the matter? Thanks, Amin. Um, it's about our daughter, Nina. Her condition is giving me sleepless nights. I can no longer eat, drink, or sleep well. Nani, there has not been any sign of improvement. Despite all the effort that has been made, Nani. Her condition is worsening rather than improving. We need to do something, Bikono. <clears throat> that is true. But what you don't understand is that if not for steps taken to appease the gods, Nenna wouldn't be alive today. They are good. Omega Kuko. Father will see one. Kill your cookie. One will see father. And we will cook. But I fear. Oh, Toro Babu. Babu, Mamma. Her case. Is such a serious one that requires most trade with caution. <sighs> Meanwhile, um, another medicine man or two of here from Isiago will be attending to her in two days' time. Mm. Another medicine man? Mm -hmm. mm. Why don't you leave this issue of bringing another medicine man? Let's try God this time around. Nani, I strongly believe that God can do something. I strongly believe that God can do something. 
I, at least two, two people told me that I should bring her to their church in the city. They believe that God can heal her. Nani Bikono, let's try God. Let me pray for you. Yes, Nani. And you believe them? Yes, Nani, I, I believe them because I know that there is no sickness God cannot heal. He will heal Nena. They told me that my prayer can heal a person in such condition. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. You don't know the seriousness of her sickness. That gods and goddesses must be at peace before she could get proper cure. Man, it is only God Almighty that decides what happens. Now I met Agatha in the city the other time and I explained Nena's condition to her. She told me to bring her to their church in the city that she believes that God can heal her. Now I met her over the weekend again and she told me the same thing. She believes that God can do something in Nena's case. Nani Bikono, let's just try her church. Let's try her God. Who is that? Nani, you don't know Agatha again. She's the first daughter of Anoka. Nani, God has been using her greatly to deliver a lot of people from bondage. And I know that same God will not disappoint us. Hey, Pico, let's just try. That useless weapon daughter of Anoka. That led Anoka astray. Tell her it will not work for her. Nena will not go to any church. It's just that you don't know her. You don't know Agatha. She's a very nice person. She, she, she's a devoted Christian. Nanya, see, I, I know she will never lead us astray. She cannot take us to a bad place. Eh? Let's just try her, Biko. I've heard you. Thank you. But Nena will not follow Agatha to their church. Her case is beyond what church can handle. Leave Nenna for me. I will handle her case. Oh, Just allow me to take her. I promise you. I believe God. Nani Bikon. I beg you. Let's just give her a trial. Let's give her that chance. Now let's try her, God. I, I believe strongly in me that something good will come out. Nani Biko, Nani. Nani Biko, I beg you. Hey, that is wonderful. Nani Biko, Nani. Nani Biko, Nani. Yes, he promised. I'm considering getting two more cars from him. I found out that one will not be enough. So three will be enough. One for my mother, one for my twinny, and one for me. <laughs> two more cars? Yes. I'm not going to do that. Of course he will. He has the money, he loves me, and he will do whatever I want. Very unlucky. I swear, Jane, you are very, very lucky. You are a lucky girl. Of course, I've always been. So forget about me. Just kiss me. How about that, your guy? I'm mean, lucky. 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 I don't have a guy. Huh? We parted ways about one year ago. Yes. I was so shocked to know that he was not doing well in his business. And yet he was talking about marriage. <laughs> I don't him for good. Babe, you did the right thing. Me, I don't have time for all this year, yeah, businessmen. I've switched over to politicians. Hey. If you want to have a good life, if you want to enjoy life, there are some of them that enjoy young, young ladies. They are the ones that will make life more comfortable for you. Life seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get there. I don't know. Because I believe that they are not interested in young ladies. Babe, you're right. Too. Not all, but quite a good number of them enjoy young ladies. Only one attempt. Only one contact. Only one hookup will transform your life. <laughs> I will appreciate it. I need help. Go 
gods of our land. I salute you. The gods said, she has embraced the spirit in the marketplace. Why did you allow her to go to the market? It happened when nobody was around. Somebody should have kept an eye on her. Her mother has always been around her. But she has formed the habit of sneaking out. When she feels no one will be around. You know, in this case, she ran to the marketplace. Fortunately for us, people who knew her brought her back home. This is unfortunate. Because she has gotten to the point of no return. And no hand can bring her back. How do you mean? Because there is no known cure for someone who is possessed with a spirit of madness. And on their own accord, visits the marketplace. Her case is not different from that young lady's case you saw when you visited my house the other day. Her name is Angela. And she has been mad for five years. She cannot be cured unless the gods on their own allows her to go. It is quite unfortunate that a woman very close to your family, fair and complexion, is behind her ordeal. Yes. A woman? Yes. An elderly woman in her sisters and fair in complexion. She swore she would not live to see your daughter succeed in life and projected the spirit of madness to her. What do I do? Absolutely nothing. There is nothing you can do. The gods are the only ones to decide when she will be let loose. A woman. Of course, I deliver the message. I shall be on my way. Keep an eye on her. And don't allow her harm herself until it pleases the gods to let her go. Jane and Lizzie, eh? Well, hurry up, let's go to church. We're, we're, we're late, we're late. Mama, please forgive us. Mama, I'm here now, Mama. Mama, uh, lock, lock, lock the cake, lock the cake. Where are your Bibles, sir? Mama, I've searched for it everywhere. I can't find it. Do you? Like my own is here, yeah. in my bag. Okay. Why don't you get her letters when she has a couple of Bibles? Mama, I will not do that. Besides, she has gone to church with Papa since. Anyway, that's their business. If they like. They can go to church 10 hours before time. It's none of them. God will wait for us in church. Yes, ma'am.
While we're waiting for Mama, let me do the introduction. Papa, this gentleman here, he was supposed to come and see you and Mama next week. But something came up and he has to travel out of the country, so he decided to do it today. We have been seeking God's face concerning living as husband and wife, and we believe that God has given his consent. I'm here to present him to you. He's a pastor and uh, he's from Anambra State. His name is... Allow him to introduce himself. <laughs> yes, Papa. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> My name is Desmond Osai, sir. Desmond Osai Okoye from Oka in Anambra State. Sir. By the grace of God, I'm a minister of the word of God. Yes. Presently, I reside in America where I do my pastoral work with Divine Family International. Yes, sir. And like she told you, we both have um, talked about it and we have accepted. And having she accepted my proposal, I said, okay, fine, let me come and see the father and the mother and the other family members. Yes, sir. And um, My son, you have done well. You have done marvelously well. Thank you, sir. But you know, marriage of these days is not like in those days when a man and a woman who love each other would go ahead and marry without going through any kind of medical test. Today, there is the need for genotype test and other necessary tests. Oh, that's uh, we know about that, and we have um, submitted ourselves to all those necessary tests. And by His grace, we have obtained a clean result. Mm. Then I would say you have crossed the major hurdle. Um, let me confirm your claims from my daughter to my hearing. Uh, no problem, sir. Adam. Yes, Papa. Do you accept to live with? Uh, Desmond as your husband. Yes, Papa, like I told you, we are seeking God's consent and we believe he has given his confirmation to us to leave as husband and wife. So, yes. Um, Desmond, my daughter Agatha has accepted to live with you as her husband. So, I will not object. I hereby give my consent. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Go and prepare something for him. He's not part of us. Thank you very much, sir. I will know of you. No, I can't. Oh, who are you? Oh, Mom Desmond Osayo Koye from Anambra State. Uh, before you came in, I have explained to Daddy my reason for coming here. Yes. <coughs> Your daughter and I have accepted to live together as husband and wife. I know why. And I said, okay, fine. It's good for me to come and see the family. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Yes. Uh, Daddy, I. I would love to use this opportunity to ask you, or rather request for the list that will cover up the marriage expenses from yeah. the beginning to the end. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. According to the tradition of our people. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> right. Yes, sir. Because I will be off for three months and I will come back in Easter for our marriage, for the wedding proper. 
I will give you. I will give you a check of one million naira. Huh? Yes, to cover up the whole expenses. <coughs> one million naira. Yes. That is good, <laughs> my in-law. My in-law, you have demonstrated you that you are really interested in my family, and I promise you, you will not regret picking a wife from this home. Eh? Yeah? And there's one more thing I want to promise you. I'm okay here. And I will never have any problem over this check. We will share it 50 50 and we will utilize it very well. We will share what? It seems you don't understand the purpose for which the money is meant for. Like I told you, I, the money is for the wedding expenses. Mm -hmm. Yes. I understand. Don't worry. Eh? We will know what to do. Oh, Anox, Anox. I got money. We will know how to utilize the money. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, nobody has told me which of my daughters you are interested in. Whether it's Lizzie or, or um, Jane. But not to worry, they'll soon come home. Then you'll show me exactly which one. But I have always known. No, mommy, I am not easy body. Eh? And what can you achieve? If you're gonna go, pass off, go belly. Mama, you're home early. You're to come, Yes, we came to see you and Papa. See you. Yes. Is, yes, is it you? He he came for. Yes, yes ma, she's right. I'm here because of her. When are you in Afukuzo? From where? And on what occasion? Oh, okay. I'm give him. Can Devon? Devon, give me a pamu or pure pu. Mom, Oh, from how? Akata, we tell you bring the food. Let us see. My in-law. Okogo. I am happy that both of you accepted me to this farm. Yeah. <laughs> you are fully accepted. Oh my, this pain, You're welcome, my this pain that normally comes from here down to my leg. I would have gone to the hospital. I can manage one I don't have the money. Oh, mommy, there's not a problem. I'll take care of you. You will? Hi! Uncle, Uncle! You won't go! Thank you! Your problem check, come away, Mama. I'm quite convinced that these things are not empty happy. Why must Agatha be the only one making steady progress in this family? And even without much stress. And if someone would have told me that Agatha would get married before two of us, I wouldn't have believed it. And don't tell me it's a mere good luck. Because I know there is something behind it. Who will tell you one Please, are you sure Agatha is not patronizing a witch doctor? Who might have prepared good luck time for her? Okay. Mm, don't go there. We all know how prayerful Agatha is. Agatha will not have time for a native job. I'm going to go fast in her brain. Ah, Mama, bow, don't go there. We ourselves are prayer. There's none of us who doesn't know how to pray. If it's about prayer matter, Mama, let's pray now. Mama, you have to lead us in prayer because we have formed a prayer group since. I will always pray every day. Something must start to happen. At least we need our own key prayer. We need our own key prayer. Now, God, Lord, is let us pray. Oh. I'm a prayer now. I'm going to pray. Come on, lead us in prayer. Our Lord and our God, that as we have come before your presence, Father, I lift up my two daughters, Jane and Lizzie, to you. I ask you, Father, to bless them with husbands that will be better than Agatha's husband. Amen. Father, I also pray that their husbands will be stinkingly rich. Amen. In short, they go to Amen. Father, I pray that the man will love them so much that whatever they ask him to do, he will do without thinking two times. Amen. Father, I pray that you will make them fruitful and you, in short, you will give them anything that any human being will ever want in life. Amen. Hey, Jane, I transfer the prayer to you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that our husbands will be the type that will not be pulling us up and down. Amen. They will be the type that will allow us to do whatever we want to do. Amen. Father, we pray we will marry rich men. 
men. Yes. And may our wedding be the talk of the town. Amen. That will attract the cream, the love of political class from all over the world. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray also that three of us will be very rich. Amen. Excluding our father and our daughter. Amen. May we own all you wealth in Niger and Delta. Yes. May Amen. we operate foreign accounts Amen. and may we spend money in dollars and pounds Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, in hey. hey. Say something before I round up the prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, have mercy on us and hear our prayer. Amen. Father, bless us so that people will sow seed unto our hands more than they sow unto Agatha's hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we also pray that we we'll always succeed whenever we we'll do our little tricks and be healthy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we need more money in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let me round up the prayer. I, Father, I am praying that on the day of my children's wedding, hey, Father, I pray that the day my daughters will wed, you will invite Father and ensure that all the political big names in the whole world, oh, not just Nigeria, will be there. Amen. Tired of Papa. Amen. Michelle. Donald Trump. Amen. Amen. Will come without his car in the golden column. Amen. Amen. And then the head of this country, eh, Buhari, will be there. Amen. Father, our governor, Amen. senators, Amen. members of House of Rep, Amen. all of them shall gather. Amen. People will talk about this wedding. Amen. And then those governors and head of state, they will bless us with big, big contracts. Amen. They will give us big, big gifts. Amen. They will bless us with all sorts. In short, houses shall follow. We shall pack out of here and pack into Meitama in Abuja. Amen. Pack into Victoria Island. Amen. And pack into any GRA in any area. Amen. Amen. All this we pray. Oh. Amen. Amen. Hey. hey. I want to pray. <laughs> Lizzie. Let's go now. We're getting late. Ah. Oh, you're coming. You worry. I'm sorry. Do you remember to drop the key with Mama? Yes, I gave it to her. Okay. We have to head straight to the bank. I want to see the manager. Exactly, but um, I forgot to ask. Were you able to see him there? Yes, we met at Zino restaurant in the evening, and we had a great time together. I think I have to give you an advice on this your new relationship with Linda. You know, she's not someone one could draw close to. Everybody knows she's good at snatching people's boyfriend. I hope you know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not well. I had to spend her this little time. I skipped her for so that we could chat. Promise me, Sophia. Okay. I don't think I will give her another opportunity to come first to me. Are you satisfied? I am something less <laughs> Um, Mr. Anuk, you and your wife should see me in my office immediately.
But I don't understand. Miss <sighs> I really don't know how to say this to you. But I know you and your wife understand so well. I know you understand the outlook on life. I see you different from other families who have been here with similar problems. They can actually live with HIV. Yes, they can. Mm. They can live alongside with their HIV negative colleagues. You see, but the problem here is that they didn't take their medication at the right time. And that is why this case has reached the final stage of progression. Um, you see, the tests actually reads the same thing, which I mean, with the previous results. And I'm sorry to say, they just have Two weeks or so to leave. Just two weeks or so? Do, 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 doctor, it, it's not possible. I know you can do something for them. Please, just tell him to do something. Doctor, please. No, no, don't tell me to come down. You do not understand. Don't tell him he doesn't understand. You can't let my girls die. Doctor, you cannot let my girls stop telling me to come. No, please. <laughs> You see, I I understand how you feel. But I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. You know, doctor, you don't. Don't tell me you do because he doesn't understand how I feel. You can cry, but you can't cry it away. You can't hide. Doctor Wilson, third medical doctor Wilson. Um, it was the second doctor that recommended him. After he tried and he couldn't treat him, so he went to Dr. Wilson, who has treated them for three months without any improvement. But Dr. Wilson says that he cannot be treated. There's no hope. I don't even know what to do. Eh? There's no medical treatment that can cure my children. This is strange. What kind of sickness would you resist all kind of treatment? And why should you even give such a verdict to break your heart? Amarachi, you're not an outsider. So I will tell you the truth. My daughters are HIV positive. <sighs> Dr. Wilson was trained in America and he works there for 12 years. And you know, usually in America, they don't hide whatever is wrong with you. They just tell you the way it is. So you won't even blame him. This is now, there's really nothing that anybody can do. <sighs> This is strange. What shall we do? Give him one memory. Nothing. I'm just waiting for Agatha to come and settle the hospital bill so I can take them home. I've lost everything. My shop has been closed down. The two cars we own, they've been sold. Everything has been sold. Or was it for one? Just to treats these children, but the way it is, is I, I don't have anything. It's better I take them home. I am alone, no, 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 give your wine. Eh? Because nobody is even ready to help. My sister, it is only God that can be trusted in this stage. There is nothing impossible with him. God, God has turned his back on us. When was here fine? God has forgotten us, so please don't even talk about God. This is terrible. 
When is Agatha returning? Um, tomorrow. She said she'll be coming tomorrow. Hey, no kind of Adamo. How are you? I'm fine, Papa. Hey, look at your baby. Yeah. Oh. Baby, how are you? Okay. She's, she's fine. Uh, how about your husband? He's fine. He had something urgent to attend to, so he told me to come on my own. Uh, I hope all is well. All is well, Papa. Okay. All is well. Okay. And where's Mama? Is she inside? Uh, Mama or? should be somewhere inside. She's inside. She didn't go out. Uh, okay, let's go inside. Sorry. Why do I have to be taking away for such a long period of time? Why? 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 Should I brought her back and take her to a servant of God? I would pray for her. We had wanted to, but we were discouraged. We had wanted to take her to one of these churches around us for prayers. But someone said the case would be better handled by psychiatrists or nursing men. We have taken her to at least two psychiatrists and nursing men. Even the one that is attending to her right now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> anyway, um, the regional pastor is not alone. Hmm? We traveled, but we'll be back tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll be hosting a healing service this coming Sunday. I would want you to bring her, so I can pray for her. Okay, okay. okay. Don't cry. God is your strength. Eh? God is your strength. Thank you. Thank you. As a normal one ever, and if we are no sincere. I told you from the onset that you're leading these children astray. By, 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 by the way you encourage them to live a wayward life. By the way you encourage them to live a wayward life. But you will not listen. Perhaps you have forgotten what the Bible says in Galatians 6, 7 that whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Now they are reaping what they have sown by your encouragement, oh my God. Oh, God knows that I do not encourage them to do anything. I didn't encourage them. No, I was the one that encouraged them. But that is okay. Calm down. Let's not um, lament about mistakes that have been made. Let's think of how to solve this issue. Let's know how to resolve it. How, what are we resolving? What are we resolving, Agatha? He was very plain to us. He did not hide anything from us. He said that there is no Nothing one can do to save their lives at this stage. Who said so? The doctor. <laughs> so, Mama, and so you believe him? Of course. You believe the doctor's report. So, <laughs> Mama, what both of you are trying to say is that the doctor's verdict is more powerful than the healing power of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not that, it's just that the state where they are now, there's nothing that God can do because they are, they are... What report? What report? Whose report will you believe? The doctor's report or God's report? The one that shed his blood on the cross of Calvary and by his stripes. Is that the report you want to believe? Or you want to believe the doctor's report? Uh, if you had been there, you would understand what I'm saying. The doctor says that there's no way they can survive. He said it's now. There's nothing God can do. Mama, please, don't worry. Give me the balance of what we're supposed to pay in the hospital and let us watch God do the miraculous. How much is it? Oh, 350,000 naira only. It is well. I will pay it. You can't cry, but you can't cry it away. 